Have you ever thought about the role intuition and inner wisdom play in your life? It's a question that might seem a little out of the blue, but it's one that holds a lot of weight. You see, intuition and inner wisdom are integral parts of our decision-making process, our problem-solving skills, and even our personal growth. Picture yourself at a crossroads, unsure of which path to take. You weigh the pros and cons, you seek advice, you do your research. But in the end, it often comes down to that mysterious pull, that gut feeling, that unexplainable sensation that one path feels more right than the other. That, my friends, is the power of intuition. It's a voice that whispers in your ear when something feels off, a gut reaction that guides you away from danger and towards opportunity. It's a sense of knowing without knowing how you know. But intuition isn't some mystical, out-of-reach concept. It's a natural part of who we are, a built-in guidance system that we all possess. It's just a matter of learning to tune into it, to trust it, and to allow it to guide us. And then, there's inner wisdom. This is the deep well of knowledge and understanding that we all carry within us. It's the lessons we've learned from our experiences, the insights we've gained from our journeys, the truths we've unearthed about ourselves and the world around us. Inner wisdom is our internal compass, always pointing us in the direction of our highest good. It's the voice of our authentic self, whispering words of encouragement, guidance, and sometimes, caution. When we tap into our intuition and inner wisdom, we are connecting with our spiritual selves. We are trusting in the unseen, believing in the power of our own insights, and acknowledging that we have the answers we seek within us. It's a profound part of our spiritual growth and journey. Imagine a world where every prayer feels like a direct conversation with the universe. The divine dialogue can make that a reality. This groundbreaking approach is changing lives by turning prayers into powerful dialogues. If you're seeking answers, clarity, or just a deeper connection with the divine, your search ends here. I'll leave a link in the description below this video to start your journey with the divine dialogue and experience the power of true spiritual communication. Now that you know the significance of intuition and inner wisdom, you might wonder how to develop them. Well, let's dive right into that, shall we? First up is mindfulness. Mindfulness is about being present in the moment, truly observing and experiencing what's happening around you. It's as simple as savoring the flavor of your morning coffee or noticing the sensation of the breeze on your skin. By practicing mindfulness, you can tune into the subtle messages your intuition sends, which often get lost in the hustle and bustle of daily life. Next, we have meditation. Meditation is a powerful tool for quieting the mind and tuning into your inner wisdom. It's like tuning a radio. The static represents your daily thoughts and worries, and the clear signal represents your intuition. By meditating, you're essentially turning the dial to tune into that clear signal. You could start with just five minutes a day, gradually increasing the duration as you get more comfortable. Thirdly, trust yourself. This might sound a tad cliche, but it's crucial in developing your intuition. Many times you might have a gut feeling about something, but you dismiss it because it doesn't align with logic or rational thinking. Trusting yourself means honoring these gut feelings and giving them the attention they deserve. Moving on, listen to your gut feelings. You know those times when you meet someone for the first time and something just feels off, even if they seem perfectly nice. Or when you're about to make a decision and you get this uneasy feeling in your stomach. That's your intuition speaking to you. By listening to these gut feelings, you're essentially strengthening your intuition, like a muscle. Lastly, practice discernment. This is about distinguishing between your intuition and your fears or desires. It's about recognizing when you're being guided by your inner wisdom and when you're being swayed by your fears or desires. For instance, if you're about to make a decision and you feel a sense of peace, that's likely your intuition. But if you feel anxious or desperate, that's probably fear or desire talking. Let's wrap this up with a practical example. Imagine you're standing at a fork in the road. To your left is a well-trodden path and to your right is a path less traveled. Your logical mind might tell you to take the well-trodden path because it's safer and more predictable. But your intuition might nudge you towards the path less traveled. It might feel scary and uncertain, but deep down, you feel a sense of excitement and rightness about it. That's your intuition guiding you. By following these steps, you can enhance your intuition and inner wisdom, making your spiritual journey even more enriching. You'll find that the more you practice, the stronger your intuition will become and the more confident you'll feel in trusting it. So, start today and embark on this exciting journey of self-discovery and spiritual growth.
Developing intuition and inner wisdom is not just about making better decisions. It goes beyond that. It's about personal growth. It's about expanding our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. When we tune into our intuition, we tap into a wellspring of knowledge that can guide us to our true potential. It's like having a personal compass that always points us in the direction of our highest good. But that's not all. By honing our inner wisdom, we improve our decision-making capabilities. We become more discerning, more insightful. We start to see things not just as they are, but as they could be. We start to recognize opportunities where others see obstacles. We become creators of our own destiny. And let's not forget about self-awareness. Intuition is a mirror that reflects our true selves. It reveals our strengths, our weaknesses, our fears, and our dreams. It shows us who we really are, not who we pretend to be. By understanding ourselves better, we are better equipped to navigate the journey of life. Furthermore, developing intuition and inner wisdom deepens our spiritual connection. It's like unlocking a secret language that allows us to communicate directly with the universe. It's a dialogue, a conversation, a dance. It's a connection that transcends words and touches the very core of our being. Are you ready to unlock the secret to instant, meaningful spiritual communication? The Divine Dialogue is your guide to achieving unprecedented clarity and answers in your spiritual practice. This isn't just about praying, it's about connecting on a level you've never experienced before. Dive into the mystery and see for yourself the difference it can make. Click the link in the description below this video to open your gateway to a whole new level of divine conversation. To sum up, intuition and inner wisdom are vital components of our spiritual journey. We've explored practical steps to develop these inner resources and discuss the transformative benefits they bring. This isn't just about praying, it's about connecting on a deeper level. Dive into the mystery and see for yourself the difference it can make. Click the link in the description below this video to open your gateway to a whole new level of divine conversation. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below letting me know what you think.